All right, gang, we had an accident in the shop, and it's a bad one. Skelly lost a limb. I guess I have to perform surgery. Let's see how good I can do with a couple pair of hemostats and needle and thread. All right, I'm going in. I'm gloved up. I don't have my mask on. He doesn't have any lungs, so, or meat. So I've got my thread. I've got my hemostats. <laughs> Let's fix Skelly, poor guy. I moved him. As soon as I moved him, his arm just flopped off. Gotta be gentle, right? Don't want to hit any of the good stuff. How we doing? Now we're doing all right. Hey, we have successfully removed the tendons. He can hold them in his rib cage. Get some more thread. You catch this for me, Skelly, so I don't, I don't have a helper. My helper is out. What? No, I said catch it. Come on. See, that's, that's why you get put in the corner. It's because you're not a very good helper. Okay, Skelly, let's do this. First thing we've got to do is get the uh, stitches, wire. What did I call this before? I don't remember. Um, hopefully, I'm doing this right. We'll see. All right, come on. One way to another, I don't care. That's a whole, okay. Now let's bend that over. Let's make sure I've got him facing hand out. Yep, I got him facing hand out. Let's see if we can get that to go in there and stay in there. Is it gonna stay? Tight enough for Skelly. Now we gotta thread the rest of it. Come on, Skelly. Come on, Skelly. Pull through, buddy. Wait a minute. You have a dislocated clavicle. Back in there. There you go. We're gonna have to put a wire tie around you after we're done here. We've got a piece of your clavicle's broken off. Alright. Let's see here. We can move the thread out of the way. But we still need the hemostats. Alright, you get threaded in that way. Hey, pardon me, I'm just going to fish this through your throat. Hope you don't mind. over across to your other clavicle. See, I gotta get this tight, Skelly, because if I don't get this nice and tight in there, you're just gonna be flopping all over everywhere. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You already are flopping all over everywhere. See, I told you guys in the description we had an accident. I wasn't lying. Ah, oh, I threaded that right through the zip tie. <coughs> Okay, I mean, I mean tendon, yeah, not zip tie, tendon. <clears throat> okay, you need to get in there. I guess I 
do it this way. I don't have anybody to hold light. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, I think I found it. Get in there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Scally, where's the hole for your tendon? Huh, thank you. Well, I'm glad I asked him. Getting a little tired of fishing around in there. Okay, now we have to we have to tighten this tendon up so that he doesn't end up with a dislocated shoulder. So let's get that tendon pulled in nice and tight. Well, as tight as we can anyway, right? Well, we dislocated you again. Hang on, I gotta get a scalpel. Just hang in there, buddy. We'll get you back together. Hang on. It's serious. Don't none of you guys there watching this be laughing. This is a documentary on how to do surgery. In the shop. Not using duct tape, but we are using bailing wire. Oh, come on, really? You just, you're, you just don't want to be put back together, do you? Ah, gotcha. There we go. All right. Now, that shoulder in there as far as we can. There we go. <clears throat> now, all we should have to do is wrap this tendon around a time or two. Come on. Come on, tendon. Or bailing wire. Skelly, you're fighting me every single inch of the way. Thank you. <laughs> Duh. I could have just gone that way instead of having to fish it through there. Skelly, I think you're going to live, buddy. About knocked you off the operating table. Let me get that scalpel out of the way so I don't cut you or anything. <sighs> All right, buddy. Here comes the last little bit. You ready? Hammer stats. Hammer stats. Skizzers, skizzers. Ah, all right, gang. We can all breathe again. Skelly's back in one piece. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of goofiness. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, feel free to give two thumbs down. Doesn't matter to me. We'll see you guys on the next one.